The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. Well, Finn Balor is a true, fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. And Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. This man has got to be clear-minded and completely focused for the threat that is Finn Balor. Intensity on the face of the champion. Challenger in the corner. Looking more determined than I've ever seen. <laughs> 
After plenty of hype and social media chatter, the bell has finally been rung on this championship match. The time for talk is over. These superstars are ready to settle this and determine who gets to hold the title. Spin kick to the midsection. What a drop kick. Lighten up the chest. Finn Balor to the top rope. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. Just barely, but it counts. Go, go, go. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I said. Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down. Finn's proving hard to deal with. Able to get out of the way. Hard landing on the gut. Looking at their abilities and accolades, it seems like Seth Rollins and Finn Balor are pretty evenly matched. So how can either man get the upper hand here? When you're this closely matched with an opponent physically, you need to go for the mental advantage. Rollins and Balor have the same objective. Get inside the other man's head and rattle his confidence. Rollins has him up. Falcon! Three! And he gets set back into the ring. Four! Rollins got out of the way. Take down. Look over the crop. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. on full display with that gesture. Oh, man. The challenger's looking shaken. Picture perfect drop kick. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Tapped oh. off with a big one. Amazing sequence from Rollins. Yeah, Seth's coming at Balor with plenty of intensity. Lighten up the chest. Kick right to the back of the leg. And again. Great way to wear out your opponent. Going for a pin for the championship. The champion with his shoulder up before two. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Back to the match. Double knee backbreaker. And he's out of there. And then. Okay. Ah! Somersault plancha. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Take things into the ring. Heads out of the ring. What's next?
Wow, what time he beats the count. Seemed like a count out to me, guys. Double stop. Yeah. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a four. Versatility from Rollins. Oh, what's Rollins have planned here? Oh my God, a small package driver. Covered by the champ. The rope stopped the pin. Ooh. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Part of the champ to fight back from this. He needs to give himself some room to regroup fast. Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going astray. Got to figure out a new plan quick. Rollins! He, the champ shoulders are down. Fights out at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, and new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Finn Balor. And a new chapter in this title begins here. Safe to say things did not go to plan here.